Hello repurposers! I haven't done one of these in the moment uh, Friday videos in a while and today I want to share one topic that's been on my mind for a super long time. I really want to talk about it and I'm gonna give you the short version here. If you want me to talk more, leave a comment, let me know and I'll record an entire podcast episode on the topic. So the topic is spiritual ego and spiritual bypass and if you are about to turn this off because you're not a spiritual person stay because there's a version that hits atheists as well so stay with this okay all right so i'm very passionate about this topic because i feel like these are the two pitfalls they're so almost like two sides of the same coin um, that hits every spiritual practitioner or student yes even you there is no exception to this rule uh, okay so what are spiritual ego and spiritual bypassing here's a very short version it is a known fact and every good spiritual teacher should tell you this and a lot of them don't because sometimes they still get hooked on this but every person once every spiritual seeker once you start getting deep into the spiritual path you will go through a phase if you're lucky it's a phase called the spiritual ego that means that first the spiritual practice will let you um you know see your ego for what it is you let go of it you you go deeper in yourself you have experiences you feel more connected beyond the ego and then what feels like more of that is going to be a version of the ego, the spiritual ego. It shows up as now I'm more enlightened than other people. Now I have the key to things because my spiritual teacher is better than your spiritual teacher. Now, um, you know, I can be a spiritual teacher and tell other people what to do. Like it's the ego tricking you. <laughs> Okay, it's doing the ego thing is just now it has a new tool called spirituality to do it. And it's really something that really you need to be on the lookout for, not on the lookout like stressing yourself, but be aware of because it will hit you. It hits every spiritual seeker at one point or the other. The trick is to at some point become aware that you're going through that phase and then let it go right and sometimes it might come up again you know you have a new spiritual practice something happens but essentially it's just a human thing that we do the problem is when we are not aware when we think we're the exception to the rule when we um you know don't even know it, it's a thing and it's you know unfortunately uh there's quite a lot of people that teach spirituality that get stuck in this phase all right so uh i'm very passionate about this topic i really find that it's it's not very well known and it creates a, a big blind spot now if you listen to this and you remember i said even if you're an atheist it can hit you Right, so the atheist version of this is like all religious people are stupid, all spiritual people are too woo woo, but you know, I am in logic, my logic, I'm more rational than you, you know, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's your version of the spiritual ego. You can call it the atheist ego, all right? It's still the ego doing its thing. Doesn't mean you need to now be spiritual. We can all have our own paths, our own beliefs, what makes sense to us, you know what keeps us really connected to ourselves the ego comes into place where we want to be right we want to dominate we judge other people we get into like i am better than you you know all that kind of stuff that's that's the key there to pay attention to which is different than you know this makes more sense to me than something else i have strong beliefs too in certain things right so you can have strong beliefs you can have uh, you can make choices you can have discernment that's not the spiritual ego all right spiritual bypassing this is going so fast i wanted to keep this short so again short version spiritual bypassing is when we use spirituality not to deal with our psychology okay 
so spirituality in my opinion and and with this you know even again if you're an atheist like having a sense of a part of you that's beyond all your thinking that is really connected um beyond the noise in your head which doesn't have to be a spiritual belief i think it's key to move forward in life to um you know grow as a person to also recover from trauma and other things right but there is sometimes a way where we lean into it to bypass the psychological work or the uncomfortable work that we need to do as well that's when it becomes bypassing okay so it's a checking out rather than checking in this is a little bit trickier to tell you the truth to see within yourself okay um it can be quite obvious sometimes in other people um it's when you have somebody that uh you know they seem very zen very uh spiritual very relaxed but then uh it turns out they cannot handle <laughs> i don't know simple life situations or they're super triggerable um you know sometimes you notice that way but it's it's tough it's a little bit tough this one to recognize the best way um i for me it's really a sense of being checked out of life meaning uh like you have to protect yourself a lot like suddenly like you know you only can be with certain people you only can be in a certain environment you only can be like it's almost like you know in a way michael singer has a great and i think in the better soul he has this great uh, metaphor of somebody who gets a thorn in their um finger and then you know i'm it's much better in the book so read the book but it essentially creates an entire bubble of protection around them and then you know they have to live in a certain way and move in a certain way be, to protect themselves but the whole time they feel like look i don't have pain anymore i don't have you know while well, in reality they're not dealing with the thorn in their finger they just create in an elaborate way not to deal with it right and it, it feels to them like they're actually feeling great that's that's spiritual bypassing okay i have another video here on youtube about using meditation as a way to check out instead of checking in so and i have a long uh blog post about this topic the atheist version of this is using logic okay it's like you're so logical all the time you're so intellectual all the time you're completely disconnected from your body from your emotions from the reactions of people around you right but you know you, you're the best at debating thing and you're so smart <laughs> okay so I've been through all of this. I think these are what's important to understand is that these are very common things that all of us will, one point or another, in in big ways or small ways, bump bump into. The only thing is the awareness. That's that's the difference. The awareness. So I'm really recording this because I want to invite you to be aware. Don't judge yourself. You don't have to be hard on yourself. But adjust okay don't get stuck don't get stuck in any of these phases all right this is it for today you can read more about me at repurposeyourpurpose.com i will have links in this video i mean in the description of the video so you can check a little bit more and let me know in a comment if this is a topic that you want me to say a lot more uh, i'll be happy to record a whole podcast episode if this is something you're interested in and if not that's okay. I'll see you another time in another video. Have a great day.